Bellerophon was a young man who had Poseidon's blood running in his veins. Glaucon, king of Corinth and the son of Sisyphus, the man who dared to cheat the gods, decided to raise the boy as if he was his son. Bellerophon accidentally killed his brother and for that, he had to leave Corinth. He moved to the kingdom of Argos, where he was welcomed by the king Protus with all hospitality. The king arranged a ceremony of purification for Bellerophon so his sins could be purged. After his absolution, Bellerophon kept living at the palace of King Protus. The young man was strong and extremely handsome and became an object of desire of Queen Antia, his host's wife. She tried to seduce him, but the young man neglected her since he didn't want to dishonor the man who welcomed him. However, the queen would not withstand such rejection and her heart was taken by hatred. Antia, looking to have her revenge, decided to tell her husband that Bellerophon had tried to grab her by force. The king was enraged by that and considered killing Bellerophon with his own hands, but realized that such an act would be against the duty of hospitality imposed by Zeus. Protus concoctenated a plan to punish Bellerophon. The king sent his host to his father-in-law's kingdom, along with a letter. Iobates, king of Lycia, received the letter from Bellerophon's hand, which had the following message. The man who is now in your house dared to violate and dishonor your daughter, and therefore his life has to come to an end. Bellerophon could not understand the reason for the king's stunned expression, since the young man was already mesmerized by Princess Philino's beauty. Iobates, noticing the interest of Bellerophon in his daughter, ready to plan to get rid of the youngster once and for all. Bellerophon, you are welcome in my kingdom. Unfortunately, I cannot offer you peace and quietness because my land has been enduring several mischiefs. I'm willing to offer the hand of my beloved daughter, Philinoi, to the hero capable of bringing peace to my kingdom. The valiant Bellerophon had no doubt in his mind whatsoever and offered himself to assist the king. Iobates was pleased to see the young man biting the bait and said, There is a terrible creature that has plagued this region. It destroys our pastures with its fire and feeds itself from our cattle. I need you to help us get rid of that creature. Bellerophon went out with his spear to meet the creature, without realizing that this monster was a chimera, a hybrid beast made of a lion, a dragon, a goat, and a serpent, considered one of the most dangerous creatures of the ancient world. The King Iobates, watching his host's departure, was sure that that would be the last time he would ever see Bellerophon. But the gods witnessed everything and decided to intervene. Bellerophon encountered Pegasus, the winged horse drinking at a fountain. The divine steed had never been mounted by a mortal being, and despite his effort, the young man failed to tame the beast. Exhausted, Bellerophon eventually fell asleep, and during his rest, he was visited by the goddess Athena, who told him how he could tame the winged horse. When he woke up, he had by his side golden reins, an offering of the goddess. Bellerophon followed Athena's instructions, approached Pegasus with the reins in his hands, and this time the horse offered no resistance. The young man mounted the glorious creature and flew away. The horse had never been mounted before. Nonetheless, Pegasus and Bellerophon established a perfect union. Both pierced the clouds as if their destiny was to be together. Now, with his glorious horse riding, Bellerophon went to meet the terrible Chimera. The young Bellerophon had been sent by the King Iobates for a suicide mission. He would have to face a terrible monster that ravaged the region of Lycia all by himself. But with the help of the goddess Athena, the hero managed to tame the legendary winged horse Pegasus, and riding the flying steed, Bellerophon went to meet his fate. The region of Lycia was being devastated by a creature known as Chimera. This bestial creature was a combination of a lion, a serpent, a goat, and a dragon, and was also the offspring of the powerful monster, Typhon and Echidna. 
With its flaming breath, Chimera destroyed everything in its sight, scorching plantations and entire villages. From high above, Bellerophon watched the monstrous beast and prepared himself for the attack. The creature launched gushes of fire against the hero, but riding his horse Pegasus, the hero managed to dodge the beast's attacks. The hero flew in circles around Chimera, which appeared to be completely perplexed by him. The monster, with its powerful claws, tried to catch its enemies, but was rejected by Pegasus's powerful recoil. After that hit, the creature felt wobbly, and in that same moment, Bellerophon and Pegasus plunged into the beast. With a powerful thrust, the hero impaled the creature. Chimera was dead, and Bellerophon returned to King Iobates with the creature's heads as a trophy. He was speechless with the hero's return, because he wanted to see him dead. And so the king sent him to face two other difficult missions. He would have to deal with the dangerous warriors Solomy, the offspring of Ares, and he would also have to fight the Amazons. Mounted on the glorious Pegasus, Bellerophon defeated both Salome and the Amazons and triumphantly walked back to the kingdom. Iobates realized that a man like that could only be protected by the gods and abandoned the idea of having him killed. He delivered his daughter's hand to the hero and turned him into an heir apparent. With Philino, the hero was happy for some time and had three children. Nevertheless, after achieving such deeds, the hero's heart was filled with pride, and he started to consider himself a god. After all, only a god could achieve such accomplishments. And so, he considered that his place was not among mere mortals, rather amid the Olympian gods. So he jumped on the loin of the winged horse and flew towards Mount Olympus. Zeus, who watched everything, was furious with Bellerophon's petulance when he tried to invade Olympus. The great god sent a gadfly to sting Pegasus, which frightened, caused Bellerophon to fall. The hero's fate after the fall is unknown. Some say he died due to his pride, others that he was saved by the goddess Athena, his protector, and that he spent the rest of his days trying to find the winged horse Pegasus, but to no avail because, for its services to the gods, it was honored and transformed into a constellation which can still be seen in the skies today.